Hey, what is going on guys? It is Temper Lines, and today in this video I want to talk about something that really keeps on coming back and it's kind of affecting um, Call of Duty as a franchise. Um, like I've heard about this a couple of times and then it went away and then it it just keeps on coming back and it it's it's really annoying people and I, and I kind of want to talk about it just to get my own opinions on it. Um, because it, it's it's like really affecting people and it's kind of changing their way the way that they play the game um, because it has been proven um, through gameplay that people would camp at the back of the map and um, try and get this rare um, gun that you can only get within the, the, the supply drops try and kill them in order to get the weapon and use it for themselves and it kind of changes the way that they play the game because um, the people who are after these things don't play the game what they're used to and um, they just pretty much camp and wait for the person who has this rare item um, to come out and for them to kill them and for them to use it which is pretty much affecting the game as a whole and really getting on people's nerves um, especially when those when when those kind of people don't care about it um, but they have to run into these people who actually do care and want to make sure that they get these hands on these weapons and um, the only way that you can get these weapons is through the supply drops which is pretty much this big issue um, that is pretty much affecting the game but for me personally um, I wouldn't really let that get to me um, because if you think of it this way like the supply drops is only in a little section of the game um, like the rest of it has nothing got to do with it you know you can you can play it normally even though these people who play like that are out there but people camp all the time anyway um, you do run into these people who just pretty much find a camping spot and just camp there and just don't really care if you have an item or not have like a rare item they just do it anyway so you do run into those kind of people so I wouldn't let that affect me the way that I play the game so um, so really it's just in a little part of the game, but it's, it's, it's not really affecting the whole entire game. I understand that um, people are doing it just to get a rare item, um, but I wouldn't really let that get to me. But um, anyway, let's talk about it because um, it's just this big issue and topic that has been going around. So um, the supply drops has what was was first released in advanced warfare and they kind of copied the way that csgo did with with the case openings with this whole element of surprise um you earn one after every so games and you open one and you could get pretty much anything you could get um uh, back in advanced warfare you could get a different gun variant um you could get a different item for your character um it, it was pretty much some other things as well but i can't really re um, re remember them like you could you you um you would get a supply drop or you could have gotten an advanced supply drops which pretty much unlocks more rare items which are a little bit harder to get than when, than you would with a common supply drop and you'd only unlock them after every so games but in black ops 3 you earn crypto keys and after earning so much it costs like 10 crypto keys for a common and it costs 30 for a, a, um, a rare one and when you purchase a rare one you're more kind of like it, it'll take less chances in, in in order to earn a rare one than you would um to use a common one i'm sorry you 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 would get a, a higher chance in order to um get a rare item than you would within a within a common sub supply drop and um I, I i like the idea it's the whole element of surprise you don't know what you're going to get until you open it and i i i like it I, I i don't mind it um but the only problem within the supply drops is in in uh, black ops 3 is the weapon so um back in black ops 2 when they released um weapon dlc season pass holders got it for free and they did they pretty much gave it to us and for season pass holders you could have just equipped the weapon there and then and used the weapon and i think for non-season pass holders they had to purchase separately which costed like two euros or something like that 150 which isn't really that that, that much for the weapon and um and uh, yeah and i think that's how it worked back in black ops 2 i can't really remember with this whole changing thing but now once they release new weapons you can only earn them within the supply drop and apparently it's very very rare to get and i understand that like they don't want to give it to us they kind of want to make sure that we earn it 
and the only way is to pretty much play the game, earn crypto keys, and open up these sub supply drops and see if we get them or not. And apparently, getting these weapons are extremely, extremely hard to get. Like they're probably like the rarest things to get than you would with any other rare items that you can get in the game. And it was pretty much like 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 some did the survey or something like that. They they pretty much went through hundreds and hundreds of supply drops, and within 250, I think they unlocked one weapon. And you know that's how rare they are. And you might not even get it, you know, it was after 250 he got it, but he could have went through another 250 and still get nothing. So that's pretty much how rare you can get within these items, um, within these supply drops to, to get these items. And to me, I wouldn't let that get to me, um, just pretty much because, like, I, I don't really care, to be honest with that. Um, like... I kind of understand that people want them um, because they're 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 new and they could change the way that they play the game. I understand that, but if they're very very rare to get, I really I I wouldn't go out of my way just to try and get these items. You know, if if I can't get them, then I can't get them. Simple as, and and it's kind of this thing where you go through hundreds and hundreds and you earn like three crypto keys a game. So earning like a hundred takes a long long time like you you go through i don't know maximum 100 games and get like 100 crypto keys or something along those lines and you could go through those those crypto keys and still get nothing and it's pretty much activisions and treyarch's way in order for you to purchase real money to get those supply drops and to pretty much increase your chances of getting the weapons faster and it's pretty much luck with this it's kind of like this gambling thing and you still might not even get it because when you pay real money in order to unlock these supply drops it's kind of like the same thing as what you would purchasing it with with the crypto keys you could still go through hundreds within hundreds and i don't know how much they cost because um i'm not really a supporter of giving them more money in order to get something that i might not even get back like i i would always pay for something that i know that i would get in return like just a simple like even if they charged it for us and we know that we were going to get the weapon once we purchase it i would pay maximum two euro first but you could pay 60 euro or 70 euro which 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 would to, just to get this weapon and you would pay 70 euro just to play just to just to just to purchase the game and to me i do not support that like i would only purchase something that i know that i would get in return like the game I pay 70 euro for the game. There's no gambling. There's no cost involved. There's 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 no catch. I just pay them 70 euro. I get the game and I play it. And I pay them another 20 euro in order to get the season pass so I can get new maps, which cost me 90 euro just in order to play the game. Which I think as a customer I did enough, and I wouldn't pay real money to get these supply drops if I wanted something that I might not even get and and it's this pretty much whole gambling situation and I encourage absolutely no one to purchase real money in order to get something that you might not e e even get like if you want a weapon like if I really wanted a weapon that they released and that they charged a separate for it I would purchase it because I would know that I would get it in return and you might not even get it with these supply drops and if it's that rare to get these guns i wouldn't go out of my way just in order to try it and and if you one of these people who got these weapons just out of pure luck then congratulations to you but i'm not going to go out of my way and try and kill you and just use the weapon because if you think of it this way right for all these people who would really do this who would really pay real money that you might not even get within hundreds and within hundreds of supply drops and actually end up paying like over 100 euro just to get one simple weapon like if you think of it this way it's not going to do you very good yes it may change the way you play the game with this new weapon but i wouldn't make it my number one mission to do it and here's why call of duty game comes out every single year a new call of duty game comes out once a year and if you go out of your way and willing to pay over a hundred euro 
just to get a weapon and you might not even get. And if you got the weapon, that's only going to last you for a year. And then once the new Call of Duty game comes out, you're going to forget everything that you did on the last Call of Duty game and you're going to play the new one. And it's pretty much that cycle all, all over again. You're going to pay another 70 euro for the game, another 20 euro for the season pass. And if Infinity War does the exact same way as what Treyarch is doing, then you're going to go out of your way again and, and I'm willing to pay another 70 to 100 euro just to get a rare weapon. That is absolutely insane. I don't know why people would actually do this just to get a rare weapon that would only last them for the rest of the year. And that's pretty much this whole situation that people are having issues with because it kind of affects the way that they play the game because people are camping at the back of the map and trying and kill the person in order to receive the weapon that they have which they can't get because it's just so rare to get. My personal opinion, I wouldn't I wouldn't, you know, mind that because people camp anyway, people do it, even if you have a rare weapon or or, or or not. You will run into these people who actually camp. So I wouldn't let that be my issue. And I wouldn't pay them real money just to get something that I might not even get. I would only pay something that I would get in return. And with these developers, you know, they always release camos and all that. I don't even pay for camos. Like, with Mac and Black Ops 2, they release more camos for you to purchase. Like, what's that going to do for me? Like, even if you did purchase these camos and you would get it in return, that's great. But it doesn't change the way I play the game. It's just to make my gun look different from the others. Like, to me, that's no good. And I never pay for extra camos because... It does absolutely nothing for me. I would pay the season pass to get more maps because it changes the whole way we, 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 we play the game. A new map comes out and we have to learn the map, scope out for you know these potential hiding spots where enemies could be and it just changes the whole way we play the game. It changes the experience, it keeps it new and it makes us want to play more. That's the whole point of you know map DLCs just to keep us coming back and play more of it because it keeps the game new fresh and updated and camos would do absolutely nothing weapons fair enough weapons are um new and you don't know what they're going to be like until you use them which changes the way of the game that's fair enough but camos i wouldn't bother um you know you 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 get gold diamond and the and the, the default camos you know i i see Nothing wrong with those, and and I I would use that. So uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much to uh, wrap up this commentary. Um, so yeah, so I wouldn't let that be an issue because the supply drops is just in a little section of the game. It's not going to affect the way you play the actual game. And don't bother paying real money just to get something that you might not even get. And and I know some people out there who really want them, and it's very hard to get. But to be honest, you're going to forget about it as soon as next Call of Duty game comes out and it's it's just going to be that cycle every single year so i wouldn't worry about it i wouldn't pay any more attention of it um because it's 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 it's, it's just really a, a little thing and as long as you don't pay for it as long as you as long as there's not many people out there who would actually pay this kind of money they're going to realize that it, that is not a good idea and they're just going to get rid of it completely because mi mistakes do happen you know people think that it's a great idea and it turns out to be bad and they get rid of it and and that's pretty much it. So, you know, just just don't bother. So yeah, so that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like and also leave a comment down below to what you guys think. And that is pretty much it for me. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.